is Rhonda by Nicole over at... I totally forgot her username. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a review for Dark is the Sea by Heather Blanchard. I don't actually have my physical copy of the book right now because I lent it out, so you guys are going to have to deal with this lovely graphic. I ended up giving this book a 2 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I was given a copy of it by the author in exchange for my honest review as part of a booktube tour. It's run by Nicole over at Let's Talk Books 42, so I'll leave her link down below if you want to go check out her YouTube channel. So without further ado, let us get started. This book follows a girl named Rowan who, after her mother's disappearance, decides to leave London and go live in Durichi with her eccentric Aunt Kitty. Upon arriving, Rowan discovers that she actually comes from a long line of witches and when she is learning about her powers and stepping into them, she realizes that she is actually being hunted by a spirit called the Hunter. I was originally drawn to the book because of the cover. I think it is so pretty. Something about girls walking away on covers always makes me want to read the book, so when I got contacted I was like, uh, yes please. The synopsis also sounded really cool to me, but unfortunately the book wasn't for me. I ended up giving it a 2 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I enjoyed the first couple of chapters and I thought I was really going to like it, and then it became very predictable and I could call pretty much everything that was going to happen and the book just seemed very rushed to me. At different parts in the story, Rowan is in a dream and I found it very hard to distinguish between Rowan in her dream state and Rowan in like real life. It wasn't very clear which one it was so I was, would be reading a dream and thinking that it was actually happening and I would be getting very confused and then I would realize it's a dream and then I was like okay this makes sense but it took me a very long time to figure out what distinguished a dream and what didn't. Another thing that really did not settle well with me is the insta-love in the book. If you've been on this channel for a while, you know, like, I'm not one to like insta-love. And this book was very, very insta-lovey. One second, Rowan was saying how terrified she was of the love interest, and she would say that she didn't want to be around him because she was unsettled by him and she made him nervous, etc, etc. And then a couple pages later, she was like, I love him, and she was taking him to bed, and it just... You know, it didn't make much sense to me, because if you're scared of someone, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't get into bed with them, but maybe that's just me. Another thing I didn't particularly enjoy in this book was the writing style. I thought it was very choppy and it was very difficult for me to read. I didn't think it flowed very nicely and I also was able to call who the hunter was pretty much as soon as they were introduced into the story so that was kind of disappointing to me because I wanted it to be a little more difficult to figure out. Overall I think the plot and the idea and concept for the book was very interesting and intriguing, but I don't think it was executed the way that I wished it had been. Alright guys, so that was my review of Dark is the Sea by Heather Blanchard. I want to say thank you again to the author as well as Nicole for sending me a copy. I ended up giving it a 2 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I don't want you guys to let that go against you reading the book. Definitely pick it up if it sounds interesting to you. A lot of the things that I had issues with is personal preferences to me, so don't let that steer you away from the book. Pick it up if you're interested. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!